In this video, I will be reviewing the Lisham Dual Purpose Cleaver with a 4CR13 core material. Hello guys, I'm Chef Panko and I used to work in a Japanese restaurant. Make sure to subscribe to know more about cooking and knives. Before we start with the review, I want to go over some disclosures. The Lishan Dual Purpose Cleaver has been bought with my own money. No one is paying me to make this video or to include the knife in a video. No one will get a chance to preview my footage or thoughts before the video goes up on YouTube. If this video helps you decide, please give this video a thumbs up since that will help the channel a lot. Now with the disclosures away, let's start with the review of the Lishan Dual Purpose Cleaver. The Lishan Dual Purpose Cleaver comes with an authentic look. It means that each knife will be different since it is entirely handmade. You have to accept that the blade has human errors. It means that you can see multiple indents, scratches, uneven soil and more. It is communicated on their store page and something I already expected. The Lishan Cleaver comes with a 4CR13 core material with a rock hardness of around 55. It is a core material with good stainless properties and it is durable. The knife is sharpened at a 20 degree angle at the front two thirds and around 30 degrees at the heel area. The core material is also strong, so you don't have to worry about chipping. And the heel area is used to go through small bones, not larger than a chicken bone. With a rock wall of around 55, the knife edge can be held for approximately two weeks with regular honing sessions before needing redstone maintenance. The weight of around 440 grams is quite heavy, and the knife has no distal spine tapering, which is typical for a Chinese cleaver. The thickness across the spine is approximately 6 mm. The spine thickness is the most exciting part about this Lishan cleaver. While a thickness of around 6 mm is very thick, the purpose is directly clear once you grab the knife. While it is a perfect thickness to tenderize meat, the thick spine main benefit is the gripping comfort and the added grip. Despite the thick spine, the knife performs very well and does not split the foot. It is made possible by the very aggressive and thin profile taper at the front. The knife's heel is thicker since it is a dual purpose cleaver and suitable to go through smaller bones with the blade's heel. The wooden handle comes untreated and is very dry. You can apply some minimal oil to treat the knife handle. The balance point of this knife is at the front. If you pinch grip at the blade or the handle, the knife will be front heavy which you want for a cleaver style knife. The blade profile is curved but works well for slicing and chopping through bones. Both the front and the heel are curved upwards to prevent you from digging in your cutting board. It is an authentic blade with that I mean it is made without power tools so you will see human errors. The blade has a lot of scratches, indents and the toil has some thick spots. It is very rough which is communicated by the seller. If you expect a flawless knife, then this knife is not recommended. If you are looking for an authentic handmade Chinese knife from the Xishan province, this is a knife you can consider. It is entirely handmade without modernized tools and you will see imperfections in every single knife. And no knife will have the same specifications. It is a knife that lacks many aspects if you compare it to the modernized knife manufacturers and bladesmiths. It brings you back when it was impossible to make an exact copy of a mug made from glass. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or other opinions, leave them in the comment section below. If I helped you decide, please give this video a thumbs up since that will help the channel a lot. If you want to know more about cooking and knives, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.